Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll teach you a simple riff in D, A, E, A, C sharp E tuning. And this riff is styled in the riffs that you often hear in this tuning, and it's a great place to start if you're new to the tuning. So if you are new to the tuning, what is D, A, E, A, C sharp E tuning exactly? It's this beautiful open sounding tuning. There are a few string adjustments you'll need to make, so your low E string will come down to D. Your A string will stay the same. Your D string goes up to E. The G string goes up to A. B tunes up to C sharp. And the E string stays the same. Uh, don't worry about tuning the strings up, it won't damage your guitar, and it's not as crazy as it sounds. For this riff, you'll need a capo on the 4th fret. However, you could adjust it just to play all open strings. I just like the sound of it on the 4th fret. Don't forget to retune when you put your capo on. Alright, so now you'll hear the riff played at full speed, followed by the riff played at half speed. After listening, I'll go through each bar and break it down and explain it in more detail. So the idea is five bars long. There's a bit of our time in there just to give it, you know, that kind of math rock feel. However, it's not really that disjointed and it flows quite well, I believe. Uh, the whole idea is based around these four chords. And then we have melody sandwiched in between. And we also have some repeating melody, which makes things a bit easier. So in the first bar, you play these open, top, the top three strings open twice. And then you should mute it with your palm of your hand. Then we play the G string and we hammer onto the fourth fret. And then we pull off to the second. And then we pull off to the open string. Open G again. So let's put those two together. And that's the first bar complete. Next we go on to the second chord. So it's the same top three strings again. However, this time we're adding the second fret on the lowest low E string. And again, you're gonna play it twice and then mute it with your palm. And then this time we're gonna play the G string again. So we're gonna hammer onto the second fret and slide it to the fourth fret. And then once we get to this fourth fret, we're gonna hold this note and then we're going to play the, the, highest, the highest two strings here. And then we're going to let go of this note here on the 4th fret and play the open string. So let's put that together. One more time. So that's the second bar. Now we're moving on to the third bar. So we're gonna play these top three strings again, but this time we're gonna play the fourth fret on the lowest low E. And again, it's just two hits and then mute it with your palm again. And it's the same melody as the first one. So play the open G again, hammer onto the fourth fret, and then pull off to the second fret, and then pull off to the open. And then the fourth bar is back down to the second fret with the top, top three strings again. So hit again twice. And then we're gonna do the same slide melody. So open G, then hammer onto the second fret, then slide to the fourth fret, and then play the open E, followed by the 
second most. I'm going to play the third one again. Then we have this last bar, the fifth bar, which is just an addition, additional phrase that's added on. And for this one, you're going to come up to the, to the ninth fret on the highest string. Play that one. Then play the eighth fret. And pull off. Then the seventh fret. And pull off again. So that's seen as an additional phrase to the last bar. So if we play that all together. So now I'll play through the whole thing slowly. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Please let me know what you think of this riff. Was it helpful for you? I really want some feedback because I want to know if I should keep doing more of these style videos. I can do other tunings or just do standard tuning. Um, just give me some ideas down below how you're feeling, what you'd like to see. This is always appreciated. As always, thank you very much. A big thank you to the patrons that are supporting this channel. If you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, you can find a link for that down below in the description. I do have a math rock ebook as well that can help you if you're learning, if you're interested in learning about math rock guitar and there's other things down there as well that might interest you. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye.